everybody welcome back to disturbing creations pets we're actually down here in our auto uh, shop office and i'm going to go ahead and feed jake today uh, hey everybody so this is jake he's my ball python and he's a little hungry because he hasn't eaten in about two weeks, weeks. Uh, so my cats have been catching a lot of chipmunks and they can't eat them all so they bring them to me as gifts so i've been feeding them to the snakes but the cats haven't caught any in like two weeks i don't know if it's the season but today i'm going to set up the feeding cage because you never want to feed your snake in the cage that it lives in because it might mistake one of your fingers as a um as a mouse so let's look right down and see what's going um, on i have him out on the table just kind of getting a little relaxed. He's been in his cage for two weeks. I haven't taken him out. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's been a little bit of neglect, but I'm, I'm doing so much uh, that I need to just get him out, get him on camera and have a feeding session with him. He, Like I said before, he has been eating a lot of chipmunks, but it's time for a mouse. So you see how pretty he is. He's He's ready to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put him down in the cage right now. We're going to turn the camera on. Um, a lot of it is going to be, you know, not very good for um, view. So I'm going to skip a couple of parts. I'm going to fast forward a couple of parts. I'm going to put a little bit to music. But I can see that he's getting anxious. He's getting ready. Uh, he's coming out of his ball because he knows that there's food. He could probably smell the mouse that's on my hands. So once you touch the mouse, you never want to stick your little fingers out there because sometimes they get confused and he might not know the mouse smell from the finger smell. So you gotta remember, even though you think this is your pet, this is still a wild animal with a very small brain, very small brain. And at any time he could strike at you because he does not know. You see his head is in the S position right now for striking. So I think he's coming at me because he definitely wants to eat and he sees all the heat on my body. So let's get him right in the cage and go ahead and get him a meal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get Jake ready to go in the cage and get a meal. But first we're gonna set up the camera so we can watch this great action. Okay, so we got the camera set up, we got the cage set up, I got the mouse in there. I like him to eat live because that's what natural snakes do. Some people don't feed their um, snakes live because they say that they don't bite as much or they don't attack as much. It, de it tames them down a little bit, but that's not natural for a snake. And if you do that, then that's okay. That's, that's what you want to do, but that's not what we want to do. I want to keep the snake as natural as can be. So I'm going to go ahead and put him down in here and we're just going to go ahead and let it rip for a while. Hey, where you going, homie? Back over here. All right. So here's Jake, the snake. He's an adopted um, ball python. So a friend of mine was lip. Oh, he got him already. Wow, I did. He got him already. Wow, I didn't even get to say anything. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Jake's story here as I change the camera angle. And Jake is an adopted ball python that a friend from college named Sophia gave me. She was working part-time at, um, at a place that keeps reptiles uh, that were rescued or like people didn't want them anymore. Or they were abandoning them. Uh, and what happened was I went and um, told her, hey, look, I'll help out. So she got Jake for me, uh, which is funny because her boyfriend, now husband, his name is Jake as well. And I didn't know that at the time. When they gave me the snake, I just named him Jake the Snake because there was this old wrestler that used to come out with like a huge python and uh, when I was little. And I just, that's the first thing that came to me. So this is Jake the Snake. He's got the mouse. 
Now what he's doing is he's squeezing all the air out of the mouth. He's contracting the, the, the um, or he's decontracting, I guess is what the word would be, the lungs of the mouse over here. So he puts, usually they'll strike the face so that the animal can't bite them or around the face. That way they control the snake's head or the mouse's head, the prey, whatever it is. And what will happen is they'll wrap their body around it and they'll squeeze all the air out. And then once all the air is out, the prey will suffocate. So it can't get any air back into the lungs once it exhales. Uh, now they'll hold on to it for just a little bit like he's doing. And then once they feel that the mouse isn't moving anymore, they don't feel the heartbeat, um, they'll let go like he's doing now. Uh, once he lets go, if the mouse starts to move again, he'll just wrap up again and hold him on. And man, he is already going at it. Look at that. Look at that. He is not playing any games. It's been two weeks. He hasn't had a mouse. I don't think he's had a mouse in about two months because my shop cats have been catching voles and um, chipmunks. So he's been eating that and he hasn't got any mouse for a while, but he is just going at it, you know? Let's get another camera angle so we can see what's going on. Right down in here, so we can see what's going on. Now you don't, you don't wanna mess with him too much because I don't want him to get scared and spit it back out. Now, this is kind of rare. I've never seen him hold his head up in the air like this and push down on the prey. And he's having a little bit of trouble because you see the nose is sticking out of the side. So what he's going to do is he's going to turn his mouth. See how he, he'll grab with one side and then turn open the other side of his mouth and then pinch on that side and release from the other side. Very beautiful, like the way that that he controls the muscles on the mouth. And as you can see, the nose is going in more and more there. So once he gets the head in, he'll start to swallow the whole thing. So he, he's trying to manipulate himself to push the prey against his body. That way he can force his head down on it a little more. His head is actually upside down while he's eating right now, which is it's just amazing, you know? So he's, he's looping the prey around. I think he's gonna turn it back the other way. Now the reason that they go for the head is because when you go for the head, the arms pu push down toward the body. Like if a human being was standing up, the arms go down. If you went from the back, then the arms would go the other way and it might not be able to get the mouse in. Wow, he's just devouring this thing already. He is not playing. And he's kind of hungry, I can see. You know? He is not taking any time at all. He's just like, okay, daddy, let's do this. I'm on video. I'm going to make the best video. I'm getting right on it. Now, you see, like, the side of his head right there? Like, the back of his head where it goes to the neck is starting to get wider. That's because he's pushing the body of the mouse down in. I think he's gonna to try to get a better grip is what he's doing. He's trying to position the head so that he can get that perfect go down the throat swallow. Uh, Cause see how the mouse is kind of sideways right now? He can't get the mouse into his mouth because he bit it on the side of the head. So he's trying to figure out, push the mouse against his body, turn, contort a little bit, see what's going on. Uh, so he can open up. The best thing would have been for him to just let go and um, take another bite. But I don't think he's going to do that, you know. So he's trying to push the butt up against his body so he can push it up into his mouth a little better. Meta was down here watching, but since she didn't get the mouse, she left because she's a little angry. 
She wanted that mouse for herself. He's doing a pretty good job here. He's doing a pretty good job of using his own body because he doesn't have any arms, you know? He can't just he can't just grab the mouse and push it into his mouth with his arm. So he has to use the body to butt up against it because if his body wasn't there, he'd just be scooting it across the tank, you know? And then what's that gonna do? Nothing but, you know, waste time. Man, that thing is almost gone already. That was a pretty big mouse too. That was like one of the last ones. So normally I'll buy like 20 because I got to drive a half an hour away to get these because not all pet stores sell the mice because they think it's inhumane just to buy mice to feed to other animals. I, I mean, that's the nature of things. We buy, um, you know, we buy meat. If you eat any kind of chicken or pork or beef, you're doing the same thing. So why not, you know? And it got one leg sticking out, and then he's got to go for that tail. Let's see what he's doing here. He's, he's getting a little shy. Don't get shy, Jake. Well, the corn snake, he loves the camera, but Jake's, Jake's a little... Oh, he's getting that big swallow on. See, see that hole underneath the snake? That is, or underneath the mouse? That's the snake. That goes to the snake's lung. That little hole goes to the snake's lung so that he can breathe while his whole throat is being, um, you know, encapsulated by the, the prey. See the little hole right there? That's the snake breathing. A little different than the human. His esophagus is way up in his mouth. Uh, compared to ours, which is down in our throat. Now he's going to lift his head so he can push it down a little farther. And then he's probably going to reset his jaw here in a second. He's going to open up real big and reset his jaw there. He's trying to reset it. It's still off on one side. Let's see if he resets it. Or he, did he get it already? That thing is gone. It's all ready. You see it down there? You see the hump down there? He's pushing it down. See how he's... He's making like these S curves in his neck. All those muscles are pushing it down. Wow, that was a quick one, Jake. You really wanted to get a good video this time, huh? He's so happy. Now you don't want to touch him uh, after he eats because you can scare him. And you don't want him to regurgitate the food. So you don't want to, you don't want to touch him right after he eats. I, I would wait at least an hour because you don't want him to regurgitate the food because when he regurgitates the food, the mouse is coming up backwards and the arms and legs could scratch the interior of the snake's organs, stomach, esophagus, all that kind of stuff. And um, how would you know? You can't fix that on the inside of a snake. They're not going to operate on the snake to, to fix that. So... And he's about, he's looking small today, but I would say when he stretches himself all the way out, he's about four and a half foot. The corn snake is five and a half foot, but very skinny. Now this ball python is, is not as long, but he's really strong. He's really thick. That way he can get bigger prey and he doesn't have to move as much. He doesn't have to eat as many times, you know, because he can keep those bigger preys in his belly. And then the corn snake is the opposite. He's really skinny and fast and he likes to eat a lot of small preys. So I, I think he's looking for another mouse. You know, usually if you find one mouse, you find more than one because um, there's like a little nest or something. So... He's kind of excited. Usually ball pythons don't move around all that much, but he just got a little meal and now he's excited. And now he's like, hey, I'm in the food bowl. I'm in the food bowl. Where's the mouses? Uh, if you like the feeding videos, put a number one down in the comment section. 
so that we know that you like these feeding videos and I'll continue to do these all the time. I might do one live so that we can talk while he's eating. So that would be cool. That way you guys can watch and we can talk through it. You could ask any questions. If you'd like to see a live of Jake or uh, a pretzel eating, we can do that as well. If you want to see a live, put a number two in the comment section down below. And again, thank you for your time. Thanks for coming and spending time with me and Jake. Bless all of you. Be safe. Remember, these creatures are not your friend. It's a pet. And it's not a little fuzzy rabbit. This is a snake. Okay? We're out.